I am in my 30s, and I have only ever tried five foods. Hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, turkey, and bacon. That's it. Everything else, I have zero urge to try, and some foods make me want to vomit. I have never tried a potato chip. I have never tried lasagna. I have never tried coffee. I've never tried salad. I've never tried waffles. I have never tried cereal. I have never tried ice cream. My buddy Hannibal Burris wants me to go and try barbecue ribs with him for the very first time ever. I don't want to try ribs, but I think it would be fun for Hannibal to see a hands-on view of a 31-year-old man baby. Hannibal Burris, writer for Saturday Night Live, 30 Rock. Fuck, I can hate when I feel sweat and drip down my butt crack. I've been nervous all day and I don't want to try these barbecue ribs, but I got it. Thank God you didn't choose lasagna because I would have felt bad for you. That's one of my fear foods that, that could make me vomit instantly with just just thinking about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, so you only have really eaten? I know I don't look like it. This is KFC and McDonald's and Wendy's. And what happens when you try shit, though? Different stuff, you know, like like I've only tried two things in like the last ten years. I liked one of them, I didn't like the other one. Alright, so you ready to go eat? Yeah, let's go eat, man. Yeah. Alright. Dude, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a mental barrier pops in my head and it tells me not to. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like I get these, these, these urges to just not want to do it. Well, there's over 300 foods that I've never tried. You know, that's what we, we made the list of. You can, you can, I've never tried a potato chip. I've never tried a cup of coffee. I've never had a glass of wine. I've never put any of that in my mouth. You know, like when I do my groceries, I just know what aisles I'm going down. I'm going down the frozen meat aisle where I grab my hamburger meat, my turkeys, and my chickens. Then up the munchie aisle where I grab my cookies. And then I'm out. So fish. You know, physically I'm anxious, you know. It's all part of the anxiety and the OCD that, that, that comes with this disorder. Um, I feel it in my stomach. It's, it's, it's in my head. You know, all day long I've been thinking positive thoughts about this as crazy as that sounds. And, uh, yeah, it's just in knots right now. This is my boy Jerry. Hey, how's it going? Pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, man. Nice and cozy. Nice and cold. So, just been explaining to him how crazy he is. That's my best friend. Like, what do you think? You know, how nuts is this? We, we thought it was a joke for a whole life, honestly. We, we didn't believe this was his serious eating habits, you know? I'm excited, though, because I feel like he's not going to eat the ribs and then. I have ribs, so I'm already counting what I'm having and I like a free plate of ribs. Welcome to my world. <laughs> you ordered already or not? No, 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 we're waiting for you guys. So, yeah, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Let's go order. Let's do it. Chantal, you tell me what I want, okay? What would you suggest pork or beef for, for him? ribs? I would suggest pork, but that's just me. Right, the smoked sausage sandwich. Yeah. Uh, most of it looks good in title. We'll see how it is in execution. I believe in this place though. Yeah, it's a, a quarter portion rib. TJ? Dinner with TJ. We're going to put yours aside. For two seconds. What are you doing to I'm just gonna add an extra element to it. Those are the 
They're putting an extra beef one on for me, so I'm actually going to be trying pork and beef for the first time ever today. And uh, it's going to be great. You know, he's, he's specifically, the owner himself is making it for me. He's excited for me to try his ribs for the first time, and uh, I'm very, uh, very nervous right now. Mazel tov. Oh, shit.